Battlefield 2042 Season 2 Master of Arms comes out August 30th, 2022, and today we're heading to the second season of Battlefield 2042. Yo, what's the legends? It's Legend, and today welcome to my Battlefield 2042 Season 2 reaction. The first part is going to be talking about some of the lore for Battlefield 2042 Season 2, and also be showcasing the new specialist, Charlie Crawford, and we'll also be seeing towards the middle slash end part, three new weapons and two new vehicles, plus we'll also see a new map, Stranded. I think the content here seems pretty good. Without further ado, let's react to Battlefield 2042 Season 2. Oz is just getting started. Black Ridge was phase one. They're planning something big. You want him? Play your cards right. I just might be your man. <laughs> So we would see our first look of Stranded, the new map in Battlefield 2042. What we just saw there was a new vehicle, and it's going to be a little bit different than all the other vehicles. That seems like a pretty unique vehicle to me, the vehicle we just saw there. And I really like this music here because it's making me feel like they're really, really focused on getting Battlefield back to how it was back in Battlefield 3 era, and also making it feel more like Battlefield 2042 is now at a better state. And I feel like, based off this music here, it's like, it's starting to become more of a somewhat realistic slash better Battlefield experience. And I really like that this music is kind of saying like, this is the type of music we'd hear in a game like Battlefield 3, and I think it's somewhat reminiscent to that, and it sounds pretty good. And the gameplay here looks pretty high quality, and the music sounds very high quality, which makes me think the new season could be pretty decent. So we'd see Charlie Crawford's first ability, I believe, or potentially this could be like an ultimate ability. It's going to be a minigun, which could be pretty good, we'll have to see, but it seems pretty interesting for now. If you spot it right there, those don't exactly look like specialists. They look like classes, like support class from Battlefield 3 era and Bad Company. Yes, they're starting to have the class system back here in 2042 is what it seems like to me. Now that would be awesome and I hope that's the case. A lot of people are saying that is the case. I think if that's the case, then this game will be doing a lot better. So we're going to see our first look at the M40 assault rifle. And PF51 secondary weapon. So there's two primary weapons here in one secondary. This seems like a decent pistol. 
We'll have to wait and see, but it does seem like it's going to be pretty decent. And this seems like it could be a little bit overpowered. LMGs and Battlefield franchise are a little bit typically overpowered. The embassies, this could be pretty overpowered. We'll have to wait and see, but it seems like that to me. And the pistol seems decent. The AM-40 assault rifle seems like it's going to be a pretty good weapon, but this right here seems pretty overpowered. The LMG, the embassy. And we get to see the... Polaris RZ R in world vehicle and we'll see some gameplay of that here and now. Looks pretty good. And the EBLC. Which that vehicle looked pretty good. And we're seeing some new gameplay of Croft Forward here. And Charlie Crawford, to me, is going to be pretty decent, like I said, but potentially overpowered also with this minigun. We'll have to wait and see, but could be pretty good. I'm going to have to give Battlefield 2042 Season 2 Master of Arms epic rank. Four thirds. The first version is Season 1 of Battlefield 2042 was a step in the right direction and I feel like they're moving forward here and not taking steps backwards. I feel like they're really taking one step forward and then potentially one step even larger when it comes to the content we're seeing here because Charlie Crawford seems like a pretty cool specialist and could be decent and we are also getting three new weapons just like we did in season one. And two primary, secondary, there's going to be one here. But we're also getting two new vehicles. Pretty cool. There were also vehicles in Season 1. And then, we're also getting a new map here. And then, what I'm very excited about, one thing that we didn't get in Season 1, exactly, we did get a little bit of a specialist rework here, but wasn't exactly as much of a rework, you could say, as much as it was trying to make the specialist characters look more realistic and look more like a realistic setting rather than this very outlandish type of kind of funny setting which was how Battlefield was for a while in 2042 it wasn't exactly taking itself seriously and then when I saw this update for the Specialist Rework, I was like, okay, feels like they're really trying to say we're taking the game seriously again. We know it's this type of futuristic, realistic setting combined with a little bit of futuristic setting, but there's also a lot of realism here. And I feel like EA is really like, okay, we're really trying to give the player what they want here, and I'm glad they are. And they potentially have even gone farther into that and what they're saying there because we could be getting a full-on specialist rework i'm not really the biggest fan of specialists but the good news is we'll be getting some compromise here in this rework potentially will be like the return of the support class system and other classes from the original franchises like battlefield 3 battlefield bad company and other Battlefield games like Battlefield 4, for example, they all had the class system and the support class. And they also had the engineer class and all these classes here and the medic. And if we see that return now in a specialist way, that'd be kind of unique. But if we see it return in some form, that'd be absolutely amazing in this season. Could go up in ranking potentially to like a ledger rank, potentially. However... I do know Battlefield 2042 still has a lot of glitches here. At times, I haven't noticed them too much on Next Generation, but on the Xbox One and other platforms of old generation consoles, they do have a few glitches here. However, there's not really that many on the new generation consoles, so potentially that's just something going on there. And after they fix that, and all these glitches are gone, I could see the season being potential legend rank, but for now, I'm giving it an epic rank. It seems pretty good to me. 
seems like it's going to be adding up substantial amount of content here and specialist rework which i'm very excited for the new specialist trailer crossword looks pretty cool and new map stranded along with the two new vehicles here and three weapons pretty good amount of content and for now it's an epic rank excited to check it out tomorrow hopefully enjoyed this battlefield 2042 season 2 master of arms reaction and if you did subscribe like video this legend signing off peace